Good morning, everyone. And uh, I'm absolutely thrilled to say that this is the third time of uh, our conference. Uh, this year, we are holding it for the third time. And uh, the conference series and practices of art and design, socio-cultural, and uh, I'm absolutely thrilled. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Yes, uh, now I don't hear myself anymore because I could hear myself very clearly. Uh, and that wasn't the most uh, pleasant uh, feeling. Anyway, uh, the third day of our uh, conference series and practices of art and design in social, social, cultural, economic and political context, which is organized by Art and Design School, High School of Economics and Doctoral School in Arts and Design, High School of Economics. And uh, today we welcome uh, Professor Roberta Zankan, uh, High School of Art and Design, Geneva, uh, who is going to speak on performing landscape uh, today. And um, I would like just uh, to uh, say a few things about Roberto. Uh, and uh, he has been deputy editor of the monthly magazine of architecture, design, and, uh, and art, Domus, head curator of Inside uh, the Academy program for Be Open Foundation, um, and uh, associate researcher at UNESCO. Uh, and uh, he's also founder of Ground Action, a collective engaged in environmental performances. His works have been selected for the official section for, of the Venice Bi uh, Biennale of Architecture, the Biennale of uh, Design in Ljubljana, and Triennale of Lisboa. He wrote, and here I'm going to practice my Italian, Correspondenze Teore e Storie da Landscape Specialismi Italiani. And recently he published uh, Architecture from the Inside, concepts and imaginations of a discipline in the making. So, Rob, uh, Roberta, hello. Thank you so much for joining us. And the floor is totally yours. We can't hear you very well. Uh, it's better if uh, maybe I have to talk louder. Yeah, oh. this, this is much better now. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I don't know. Oh, there's always this setup. And, uh, digital world. So thank you for inviting me. I will uh, and uh, and to have uh, the chance to speak to this uh, conference. Uh, and I hope uh, you will enjoy my, my essay to express some theories about what we can do today. Um, mm -hmm. Roberto, just a second. I'm terribly sorry, but uh, we we can't hear you clearly, and our interpreters can't hear you at all. Now it's better. Uh, is it possible? Yes, that you move very close to the microphone. Yeah, yeah. No, I think there was something on the microphone because I put my something to read on the microphone. That's better. I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, I hope it's it's fine with me, but let's double check with the interpreters. I hope it's okay. It's it's better now. I think I have some. I have, um, a book over my microphone to stop uh, from noise. Uh, that's why now I remove it. So I think it's yes, it's much better now. But yeah. unfortunately, you will have to see it this way all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's no problem. It's it was about uh, keeping my okay. Um, so eventually, I will uh, um, I will try to uh, to talk slow. Slowly to to make the thing uh, more easy to, for the translation and eventually to read in the first part uh, it will be maybe a little bit uh, uh, very structured. But uh, I try to help. I know this situation very well when you are in different languages. It's not easy if you don't go slow and very clearly as you do with your student usually. You know, so. Uh, the title of my lecture today is performance, uh, uh, performing landscape. It's a concept that I will introduce later. And I will show you many videos today. So be ready to, to work on that. Um, but um, I start with some words. Um, meantime, that uh, I show you a video. So listen to me, there's no, um, Nothing to listen in the in the video, just was the images. Okay. So first of all, I share my screen. Let's go here. 
the quality is a little uh, blurry, but it's not so important. You will be able to see what is happening. So, uh, we, we don't uh, I take off the, the, the audio, sorry. That's not, now you're gonna start, okay? Yeah, we Look. don't see anything, is it okay? Oh, you don't see anything? No. Oh, we just make it try and it was working. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't push the button. <laughs> okay. I'll see if we are used now to do this over time. But uh, now you see, no? I imagine. Yeah, everything good. Yeah, yeah everything's good. Yeah. yeah. What you are watching it's a it's a video from uh, um, Joseph Boy's Weeping Up, hmm? uh, a performance that he did in, in 1972, that, which I will talk. But Joseph Boy sweeping up Richard's long uh, a line made by walking, demonstrate how much large part of the most crucial performances of the 20th century consist in the reproduction of everyday life acts. The action of Aus Fagen, or sweeping up, took place in Berlin West for the occasion of events of 1st May 1972. At first, Joseph Boyes con uh, contents himself with watching the protest march pass by uh, broom in hand, while two of his students distribute plastic bags in the colors of rich and political formation the Organization for Direct Democracy he had um, organized. Uh, once Karl Marx Square is free of protesters, the artist and his assistant start sweeping. The rubbish is collected in bags, then dispersed inside the René Bloch's gallery. Uh, Joseph Boyce want to advent for a free democratic socialism in opposition to what he call the facade democratic of the Eastern and Western bloc. Taught this action came to show the necessity of surpassing ideologies to bring about a fetid change in our societies beyond the division that such ideologies engender. Surpassing the political opposition instituted by the party system and provoking real changes by sweeping um, true individual awareness provoke followed by collective action made by this daily act. This seems to be the message expressed in sweeping up. It is difficult then not to call to mind a photograph of Joseph Weiss, or Boyce, also dead of the same year in 1972. He showed the artist standing absolutely towards uh, the bands with La Revolution. Mm, noi siamo la Revolution, we are the revolution, inscribed on the bottom of the picture. It's another picture of Boyce with the wipe. Um, so this action about weeping, uh, I will come back very soon. Uh, it's um, I will insist a lot in my in my lecture. Um, can be uh, compared uh, to a second artwork that I imagine you know as much as this one, or maybe even more. The famous Richard Long uh, walk, uh, a, lay, a lie made by walking. Uh, the year of the publication of Tony Smith's journey around England, uh, Richard Long created a line made by walking. In, it is the 1976. Um, it means five years before Boris. A straight line curved on the ground by trampling the grass. Uh, this formative piece was made by a, on one of Long's journey to St. Martin's School from his home in Bristol. Between hitchhiking lifts, he stopped in a field in Wiltshire where he walked back and forward, 
until the flattered turf caught the sunlight and became visible as a line. He photographed this world and recorded his physical intervention within the landscape. Although this artwork underplays the artist's corporeal presence, it anticipated widespread interest in performative art practice. This section, say Francesco Carreri in his wallscape, will produce a sign that will remain imprinted only in the photograph taken at the moment and that the grow of the grass will make it disappear again. Carreri writes the trumpet grass embody the presence of absence an absence of action of the body and of the object. Inexorably, however, it is precisely the action of the body and an object, something that is found between sculpture, performance, and landscape architecture. The words by Long embody the desire to continue this first gesture, indeed to enrich it, albeit with the passage of time a dispatch of their, or there's no trace remains, time, what really matters is walking. The natural space that is in the background is a primordial landscape. And already the princess of the artist represent a symbolic act, the sign that exists, but which is then no longer visible. So sweeping up and uh, walking, uh, are common human gesture, humble human gesture, generally not recognized as creative acts. In my lecture, I want to emphasize above all the first action to underline how weeping is as a proximity to cleaning and cleaning uh, practice are some artwork. Uh, oh. Uh, this is um, an artwork presented by Pino Pascali, a very proficient uh, artist that sadly died very young uh, at the beginning of the 70s. It, it's a group of um, um, countryside, uh, countryside tools huh? uh, for, uh, for agriculture proposal. They were presented in 1968 at the Galleria Nazionale uh, of Rome. If Pino Pascali used to display brooms uh, uh, other agricultural tools, um, is to evaluate the architectural, uh, the agricultural work, the job of women and men in the field. This maybe helps me to help you understand how part of artistic operation are made of maintenance work. By bringing so, it has been shown how the landscape is the product of a huge deposit of daily labors, of daily action that humble people, poor people do to modify and manage the nature. Uh, Prom trees, cut grass, uh, uh, move leaves, uh, etc. Uh, our action on maintenance and control of vitality of nature. If you multiply a thousand times and repeat this action over the years, this acts show their strong actors. Maybe to have a fast image of this effort, I show you another very famous artwork that exists in form of video. That is the, um, that is, uh, the famous Francis uh, Alice when fate move mountains. That's so tightened in English, that's more or less explained. Uh, Este, Martín, ahora me escuchas. Corriendo a la cámara C. 3, 4, 5, 6, viva el Perú y viva México. Acción. Mm -hmm. 
I, I turn the, the volume down. So uh, when the flash mob style action or this critical mass uh, intervention uh, act uh, like the fast way to see the, the slow action on the nature, uh, we uh, can see as the title of that was uh, that uh, art uh, can move mountains. Who doesn't know this art piece is to make a line moving. That's what it show like a, a, a conceptual uh, action of moving an entire mountain from one side to another with this uh, collective action directed by the artist of at least 500 people working an action in the same way together. Um, I pass to the next image and maybe we I hope to became more clear. Uh, during the, the COVID uh, crisis that we are still living, at a certain point last year, around uh, March, um, um, a newspaper in Singapore provoke a scandal. They presented this, um, this diagram uh, showing uh, a survey that they made, um, which are the position of the most useful people in the society at that time. The scandal of a survey uh, in um, show in which position cleaners are considered and as they are considered as necessary workers uh, in a crisis moment, in all the list where artists are not present or totally under a not influential position. This was uh, presented mostly in uh, artists, uh, magazine, etc. As, uh, as a proof that uh, the underestimation or the under consideration of artists in the, uh, in the society. But uh, what I want to point out is that my position is not to defend the artist, but indeed is to highlight the relative value of the works of the cleaners and to understand that giving value and justice to deny people is part of the paradox of a great artist who despair values the work of a museum operator, but does not recognize her, him, as a human being with the same uh, function and same importance. Um, in other words, the artists don't understand the creative potentiality of cleaners and humble workers and their daily work. In the opposite, they use frequently their action as something that give and has a value inside institution as gallery and uh, museums. Uh, I insist on this uh, because I wanna uh, maybe show, okay, so yeah. Uh, I want to insist on this position. Um, insisting about the fact that sweeping up, cleaning is so crucial to discover uh, great art. And uh, the fact that uh, a lot of uh, um, humble and practical words, they are, they are not look like something of a, uh, with a, um, cultural and creative content. So if we start to look in a different way, it can present a, a huge potential to become something that has uh, the qualities of the most intense uh, human activity, such as dance, staging, acting, etc. This is an image of a sweeper in Casablanca. Mm, that, uh, as you can see, is using a palm to clean the dust uh, in the main square of, uh, of um, African city. 
and that I catch a few years ago in a sort of uh, rhapsodic uh, watching of this uh, activity. And it was like a dance, a really elegant uh, action and it provoke uh, me the same feelings that I have watching some of the artworks that I show. I had the same feeling in front of this um, um, fantastic weeper in um, the downtown, or maybe in one of the part of uh, Beijing in, in China, where uh, not only uh, the presence and the elegance of this uh, figures in, uh, in the society waiting for this action, but was also it's, it's tools, as I show for Pascali or the previous uh, men in Casablanca, are um, connecting in a certain sense the, uh, the, the, the um, in under technological world still relating to the past uh, tools of our activities made with natural tools uh, and tools made by um, by by, by the, uh, the vegetables, plants, etc. I think that maybe if I'm not convinced you with this words or maybe I'm still too confusing, it's a good way to understand what wiping can do for art and for the art at its best level. If we think to these wonderful women that uh, in the past century um, by cleaning, create and recreate and regive to us one of the most amazing uh, uh, human, cultural and artistic uh, artwork. Her name is Maria Victoria Rachel Neumann. Maybe you know because, for example, the Biennale Architecture uh, directed by the Chilean architect uh, Elemental presented this image as a poster of uh, of the Biennale, but what the image I want to present to you here, it's, uh, it's hair with a broom. So what she did, essentially she rediscovered by wiping the Nazca lines in the middle of the Chilean uh, um, desert. So exactly the action of wiping, the action of uh, cleaning, it's reveal and create the arts at maximum level. Uh, with a number and a um, insistent and daily action about that. In general, art tends to not consider too much uh, the, the acting of cleaners uh, or housewife or of um, this kind of uh, operators on um, investition of art. Uh, in a certain way, there was um, at the beginning of, um, of a millennium, cinema in particular started to be interested to these things uh, with a critical uh, vision of, uh, of it. And, uh, and there was a series of, of uh, movies uh, that, uh, that uh, considered this, uh, this, this critical topic uh, as a, as, a, as a main uh, aspect of their uh, tale. I mentioned maybe something that you know, like the Ukrainian cleaning lady that was uh, come out uh, in 2002, dirt that's about fair and trembling, made in America and France with money. They're all movies made at the beginning of uh, 2000. They're really related about um, uh, usually women, and cleaners uh, working in museums. But maybe more recently, I found it was more effective and, uh, and uh, successful uh, the, um, the work of um, Becca Lemoine, uh, a, a couple of uh, filmmakers in, in, active in France that made this. Makes famous uh, Guadalupe Acedo. It means the, the house life of this famous Colas, Ren Colas uh, house uh, in Bordeaux. And uh, with their movie, that was the first of the city, uh, the, the city living architecture, what this fantastic uh, um, uh, women body, I will say, also for this uh, uh, presence, uh, 
introduce us to better know or to know the architecture is best uh, for a long day uh, journey in this building. It was the first uh, of a serial movie, for example, that uh, include also, for example, um, Gary's Vertigo about the glass cleaners uh, of, uh, of uh, Bilbao, uh, famous museum by, by the American architects, the Guggenheim Museum, and uh, which enlightened uh, with a more light uh, and more um, ironical uh, lecture of the movie that I previously uh, quoted, uh, this um, knowledge that people that frequent, they use, then take care uh, of uh, an artistic space uh, as of what uh, uh, we see only as uh, public or uh, users. This also show the great mm, transformation of this knowledge in creative activities. I suggest, I strongly suggest we haven't seen the, the Color Sounds Like movie to see how much she can invent or reinvent and know better even than the architect, uh, how you can manage a space or how you can transform it. Hmm? So uh, with this uh, lecture, I ask myself this question. Why uh, must the same daily gesture, uh, the same action have a different value? Why this gesture can have a, a big monetary act, uh, value if it's made by an artist? And why cannot this have the same value if it's made by people that are doing uh, them for living. Can this practice of repetition, resignification, and alteration of everyday action because become a diffuse practice also to change the social and physical qualities of our everyday space of life? In this sense, I go directly on the line of the proposition made by um, uh, Joseph Boyes, whose intent was to show the democratic size, but also the personal engagement to clean in the street as an act of art at the most profound social um, activity to participate and giving a better uh, condition to our society. What happened if we start to think to transformation of our everyday action in social collective performance? By performing, can we produce better and more ethic space? Can we transform daily work into NATO artistic liberation? Not uh, be closed and reprised by our cleaning acting. Can we transform this daily work into NATO artistic liberation, giving higher symbolic and social value to humble jobs? transform an employee's labors into gesture with an aesthetic meaning. To the presentation of a series of events and projects, this intervention aims to demonstrate how the action of creation, care, and daily maintenance of ordinary spacing, cleaning of the street, moving of the grass, etc., have the potential to become happenings, dance, and theater choreography and now the landscape can be created by performing. The idea is not to obtain the effect of Richard Long that in a certain sense I criticize. Also, we can maybe also consider this action today as something that's even anti-ecological, not destroying the, the nature. But uh, it's something that more of all is rest only on the final photograph of an act. What I want to insist, what I want to present uh, is uh, why not to transform the acting, the action, the performance on doing something that most of the time we don't like, cleaning, um, wiping, etc., in a real choreography, in a dance process that has, as a result, the art world as a useful, functional space 
or object and situation. To illustrate this attitude, I will present some project by Grand Action. Uh, what is Grand Action uh, or what uh, they do? It's a group that carry out site-specific site project and action in the field of art, landscape and architecture. Uh, it inspires by collective and participatory practice of space modification. Uh, it's, uh, it promotes maintenance as a form of art and design and reuse as an act of transformation. Its objective is the direct and concrete execution of installation, performative actions, virtuous behavior. I continue to show you a video that introduced this method. So it's called Montevecchio's method uh, because it's cited in, in a place called Montevecchio.
so uh, this first um, group of um, actions, so geography was uh, produced in a place uh, called Monte Vecchio in the in in a, in a, in a geominerary park uh, of um, Sardinia. Sardinia is a sort of Italian desert uh, with a big uh, exploitment of uh, natural resources where are concentrated uh, uh, the, the biggest mines uh, of different production uh, materials uh, in, uh, in the past of the history of, uh, um, of, the, of the country. Um, for a series of years and still going on, uh, we produce and we participate to um, what is called the land work. Land works. There was a, a series of uh, long um, workshops uh, where essentially we were producing and transforming the landscape to produce uh, some um, action of uh, revaluation and regeneration of these places. Uh, what I want to show with this, uh, with this video, it was um, exactly the fact that uh, was not only produce uh, a piece uh, or a place like this uh, little pond that give uh, the possibility to deers to drink uh, during the, the dry season, but uh, the fact uh, that uh, making the making of and the final results are uh, a produce of a choreography of a method uh, uh, action of performance. So the landscape is really made by the performance as the way uh, that we can uh, think for uh, for um, for a dance uh, uh, activity. I show you a second um, uh, project, a second uh, experience, more recent, uh, very very recent, made this a few days ago, and uh, to explain maybe other. Uh, this second art, uh, the second um, video is part of the biggest work uh, that uh, uh, I will show you later where what is happening. But it's one to illustrate uh, a series of starting from a serial reference, as you can see, the, the Ulai Abramovich uh, famous uh, installation. Uh, or uh, a Kill Bill style uh, duel. Um, this Blowers duelist, uh, also uh, they refer from the famous uh, Ridley Scott movie, are um, transforming uh, uh, what is as we consider like a challenging act uh, in a collaborative action to an, uh, a, a frequent, a diffuse uh, tools like a blower. Uh, to produce uh, a, a better environment, uh, cleaning the leaves that we can find in this um, grass uh, field uh, at the end of the winter. It, the idea is actually to have uh, a possibility to transform boring uh, and pleasant uh, and uh, unconsidering daily action in something that uh, with attention, with concentration, with uh, representation, add the same value of the most uh, valuable art uh, action. A third uh, in intervention I want to 
uh, to show it's related to this place is called Alberoni. It's a place near Venice uh, uh, where we um, act with uh, a huge group of people around 40 pe person to um, try to regenerate uh, and restart the, um, the natural uh, action of, uh, of um, in an ecological perspective to regenerate uh, a deteriorate uh, beach near uh, Venice. It was um, once more an action made uh, with um, cleaning, simply what was on the site, uh, putting them uh, with a strategy of form, putting them with a strategy of action, and to underline that uh, with a form of presence that was made with, uh, with paint in this case. This was also connected to the um, recreation of a series of, of, of um, vegan, um, natural uh, walls made uh, with plants, uh, dry plants and uh, garbage, uh, uh, dry leaves. So they were staying uh, the end of, uh, of the summer on the beach to reinforce the, so the possibility to create dunes uh, and so to recreate uh, a, uh, what was the ancient um, natural uh, condition of this place. Uh, it's something that has been created in um, a day and a half, uh, what uh, quite a, a good group of people, but with no uh, electric tools, uh, no, nothing else than hands uh, uh, and not even shovels. So it's something very light, something that uh, is labor intensive. The idea is also to stay outside, not in front of a computer to work, to be creative and to use the action of solidarity, the action of, um, of force and strength uh, and, uh, and to help in each other to create some uh, collective activity that produce uh, a better and more uh, strong ecological condition something extremely light of which I can show you the stronger present uh, after years. This work was made uh, seven years ago, the image you see. This is the beach in front of Venice. Maybe if you have come, this is Venice, this is Lido. At the end of Lido, this is a place called Alberoni where we were. And where it's, it's the most natural part of, of the beach of Venice, but it was being cut by Mm, authorized but uh, quite illegal uh, beaches um, and baths for, uh, for tourism. The idea was simply to, to go and act there and to reinforce uh, this uh, situation. That is the situation 10 years after. You have to think that it was like that before. So exactly, so what they do, they cut the dunes uh, and they create uh, like a flat place where you can have um, uh, beach beds uh, and uh, and place for tourists, but with the action uh, we make, uh, uh, we help uh, to, um, to reinforce the, this part, uh, making uh, with this sort of fence made by the, by the, the, um, uh, the stick and the, the logs uh, all around. You can still see a part of the, of the circle, a big parts of the circle that has been covered completely by the dunes. And here, the, the creation of, of the dunes that stop this access was possible, uh, was a straight way to the beach and then that was continually destroyed by the passage of people. And uh, most this is um, a big part of our um, fences are now covered with natural um, um, formation of sand created by the wind during the winter, especially. And so, as you, you can see, no, this, this performing act uh, produces really more than a landscape, quite a natural uh, condition. To, to make uh, a last uh, two step uh, or last steps to the end, I want to show you this place that we call La Radura, the, 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 let's say, the, 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 the the space in the in a forest uh, in a cultivation forest uh, where we are acting since uh, uh, um, six years to continually um, cutting the the plants uh, in 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 a in a form of a circle. 
choosing what to cut and what to let to grow. This action on maintenance, this is very similar to gardening on a more forestry action, is made to, to show, it's not a garden, it's made to show how it's possible that uh, acting with uh, intense and permanent uh, uh, maintenance of the place can produce a, a place that can be used for uh, different activities uh, such as theater, um, performance, uh, other kind of, uh, of um, action like uh, theater, uh, like uh, dinners uh, of participatory events. So the idea is that uh, art can be made by maintenance, can be produced um, in, uh, in a way that uh, e it well organized, well produced, it's, it's make every act, especially the act that we consider the most con limiting our freedom, the most boring and the most, uh, uh, and the less considering our daily life in something that it's an action of self-liberation, but also of, for example, training our bodies. If you think how much time we take uh, going jogging, and how tired we want to begin doing essentially nothing, just consuming our calories, that can, on the contrary, be something produced in a form that uh, can help to live, have a better living condition, and especially to perform and to help nature to be more stronger and more directly uh, useful for our future uh, generation. I want so to finish my, my intervention with uh, the reading on the small, uh, um, some few lines of one um, of the, to say, my favorite Russian uh, poet, Osip Mandelstam. I hope uh, to pronounce it quite well. Huh? Uh, in a famous, uh, uh, it's not really poetry, it's a prose, but this few lines I'm going to read, or maybe you can follow me during my reading. And what is really expressed, this idea of this liberation, freedom of the nature, it's really the avant-garde of our life and not the past that we had to destroy with modernity. There is a grass in the street of Petersburg. The first one sprouts of the virgin forest that will cover the space of contemporary city. This bright, tender greenery, with its astonishing freshness, belong to a new inspired nature. Petersburg is really the most advanced city in the world. The race to modernity is not measured by subways or skyscrapers, by, but by the speed with which the sprightly grass pushes its way out from under the city's stones. Our blood, our music, our political life, all this will find its continuity in the tender being of the new nature, in nature, psyche, in this kingdom of the spirit, without man, everything will be a dread, and every phenomenon will speak of its own metamorphosis. Okay, I think I stopped to share my... Robert, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you so much for this uh, presentation with such a poetic ending. And uh, we and the pronunciation was all right. Uh, was good. Good. And all good. <laughs> thank you. We that have sound so good, like in Russian. I, I heard uh, something which is fantastic. Okay. So sweet language. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's let's see if we have any any comments any questions we have some space for those uh 10 minutes uh at least okay i'm going to also double check uh the youtube where we are streaming okay right so not really. I um, maybe missed it, but uh, I just have a very, uh, it's not yeah, just a very simple question. Unfortunately, are you organizing anything like that in, 
in Geneva, uh, where um, in Geneva, I'm more a professor of theory and history of architecture. We did something; it's more in a perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, my function there is more theoretical, if I can say that. Uh, so mm -hmm. my activity is more spread in uh, Canada, in Italy, in other places in Europe. Mm -hmm. I also started with other young, uh, especially students in, in Geneva, but it's more progressing. It's a tree, it's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, my, my activity has really split in two parts. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, and there are more about um, writing and teaching the, the history behind all the stories and, uh, and producing. But one of my courses is exactly devoted to the same things where the students and to study. It's, it's about the history of performing and they also, also to, to produce a performance um, then uh, the tree produce or reinterpretation of um, historical performance. So uh, with this, we create like a network and one of the ideas is to, pre to produce a sort of instant festival in the future to have something that happens at the same time in the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's why I asked it because, uh, well, very, very often it's difficult to, uh, you know, to uh, actually divide uh, theories and practices specifically in the area of art and design. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, for instance, even in the frame of this conference, we can see uh, how very often we have practitioners who are researchers, researchers who are practitioners, artist talks, uh, research papers presented. And uh, that is why, yes, I asked you this question because uh, this uh, seems to be very natural uh, for, for the field of art and design. Yeah, yeah I think it's uh, one of the points. It's uh, that uh, if you are a scholar and you, especially uh, an historian as I am, uh, you, you look, I mean, historian, but since it, I don't look at, um, of, uh, maybe like show this place where I am. I was supposed to be, but. <laughs> Or not it's it's uh, you have to be very specific and uh, about the construction of the situation and not really about inter in the intervention you made of that but we are in a moment where more and more this kind of space are, um, are um, attack uh, in a positive way by the virus of contemporary action no so it's um, it's the fact that we are finding more and more of this uh, in, in intervention that are related to put contemporary activities inside the, 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 mm -hmm. the, the, the historical place and the art of the past. Especially I, I was uh, in these days, I'm uh, working about a monument in Venice uh, for one uh, say of, uh, of a school uh, magazine, exactly about how monuments works and um, in Venice where there's no, they were not for, by the tradition of the city. The, um, any monument outside of the building because it was not it was a republic so nobody has the right to have an uh, individual representation outside of the public space so all the stones all the tombs uh, uh, of the gravery are inside the building and, uh, and trouble and that happens only at the at the end of the republic uh, of venice with Napoleon, they start to put statue and um, memories of people outside. But this is, um, I show, for example, a lot inside about the restoration and all these activities of restoration are very frequent, especially in this moment with COVID there. They take the chance to, to put uh, uh, scaffolding and all more activities that don't bother tourists when they will be the time. And you can see how this work of cleaning, it's incredibly creative. You know, now a cleaner, artistic cleaner, it's somebody that says more, and it's not more, uh, yes, task and ability, artisan ability that's way over what is in the one of an artist. And their knowledge must be so deep and so it's, it's it's a lot of uh, our creativity, I think. So if you would think only in the terms of what was maybe the painting like the Vistitian and the Sofiando, uh, et cetera, you know, we are looking at that view or looking at arts. It's very a strong limitation of what we have to think uh, for today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Cleaning is, a, is, a, is, a, yes, is a, such a metaphor and uh, 
yeah had such a huge potence uh, actually right right uh yeah thank you so much uh roberto uh, for this uh, contribution and uh we uh, are actually moving now to our next uh, panel and uh, once more yes uh, thank you and i hope yes to see you in physical space at some point me too thank you very much again uh, good luck for uh, everything and uh, the rest of this yeah wonderful um, conference okay thank bye you. Yeah. i i will stay there and I'll listen to you but thank i disappear you. thank you <laughs> bye bye <laughs> Ciao. Yes, thank thank you so much.